Not a particularly exciting day today, but I did do a little bit more assembly work on the RED124. Namely, I assembled the door trims on the front two doors. Of course, I did stick down the uh, plastic film on the door frame as well before putting the uh, trim on. So I do have both uh, seat switches now. Uh, unfortunately, I have no caps for the left-hand side one, so I have to find those. And if anyone can lose bits and pieces, it's me. Despite having two complete interiors, I seem to only have three locking knobs, so I need to find another one of those as well. Tomorrow I might drop off these B-pillar trims to have those recovered, and then I can go ahead and um, install those in the car. I can then install the felt-covered uh, linings around the doorways and the uh, covers at the bottom of the doorway as well. The interior will start to really look complete once these are installed. Standard issue is they start to peel after the vinyl starts shrinking and separating from the foam underlay. And on that rear parcel shelf, because one of the previous owners had it there, I decided to reinstall the uh, baby seat anchorage. Um, if you're not aware, Australian version cars by law all have uh, screw bosses in the parcel shelf for child seats. This is on blue black. And they just have plastic caps hiding the screw holes, ordinarily. Uh, something else interesting I worked out today. Um, on the red car, this is the correct linkage that goes between these two arms. It's actually plastic and they always seem to break. This one is cracked on one end and the other end exploded when I removed it initially. Um, having a look at blue black, I noticed it has a metal one. Um, that's not correct. It must have been from an M103, uh, but it works, and I didn't even know it was there, so I'm just going to find myself a donor off a 103. It's much more robust to use metal ends anyway. Who the hell thought plastic was a good idea?